Margaret, you ready? Margaret? Yes. Okay. Let's call the meeting to order. Uh, roll call, please. I'm sorry. What? Roll call, Burke? Yes, here. Graham? Here. Miller? Here. Peller? Here. McGrath? Here. And Sullivan? Here. Um, any communications to come before the board? Uh, I would just like to thank Mr. Miller for questioning our notice on Monday when we dealt with this because I think it was a prudent question. We checked it and although the legal opinion was that it was probably fine, I think this is definitely the uh, safer way to go. And then we'll double check the exact um, Okay, any other comments to come before the board? Uh, next item is a resolution to approve the collective bargaining agreement between the Main Township High School District 207, Board of Education, and the Main Teachers Association. Recommendation that the Main Township High School District 207, Board of Education, adopt a resolution to approve the 2013-2015 collective bargaining agreement between the Main Township High School District 207, Board of Education, and the Main Teachers Association as presented by the superintendent and the board negotiating team. Is there a motion, please? Someone. Second. Graham, second. Peller, any questions or comments on the motion? Um, for the record, uh, all the comments that were made at Monday's meeting will be attached to the record for this meeting. I, I understand that, um, but given that this is kind of the official public thing, I'm not going to go over everything I said before in terms of the reasons I'm going to vote, but I think everybody's entitled to know uh, what I feel about it. I know I'm on the record here, this is the official public thing. So two things. One, I'm going to summarize it real quick, which I'm not going to take a minute. And secondly, I have a handout, which I would like to ask as part of the record, not part of the minutes, but I'd like the minutes to reflect the fact that there's a written document that's part of the record that reflects why I'm not... Um, you know, it explains my vote, if you will. And briefly, to, to repeat, I think the team did a very good job. And I mean, the, both, both teams, really, the team did a very good job. I think there's some novel issues in this contract that I think, you know, hopefully, part of the administration will kind of get stronger and set the direction of the future. So we didn't get everything that perhaps we could have gotten on this occasion. His view is that, you know, the direction is set to in, in the future. And so my view is that, I, as I said at the last meeting, I think the contract is rich. Did the math. I mean, the increases are up to eight percent. Mary Fury, it's at more like six percent um, salary increase over the over the terms of the contract, um, which is a step in the right direction. But given, and you know, I don't have to look for these things, people. This this one this one came yesterday. Illinois foreclosures rise twenty nine percent. You know, I, I don't have to research this every day. It's the same thing. Um, that happened to be yesterday's um, Chicago Real Estate Daily. Um, so I think things are tough. Uh, I, I, the second issue besides the, the scope of the, of the pay raise that I, I had a problem with was I think we should have a reopener um, and not a broad-based reopener. As I said at the last meeting, that Sean Sullivan feels we should reopen the contract or reopen the contract, but a reopener in the event that certain specific events happen, which are currently threatened, which is the state, the Speaker of the House, very powerful guy, has said that he would like to pass the normal pension costs along to the districts. Now, yes, there may be some sort of phase in time. There may be, quote, property tax relief, which means, you know, raise property taxes to, to cover that. To me, that's, that's a major uh, a major event. It could be decided in a month, probably more likely decided, you know, perhaps towards the end of the year. So if we, if we end up with millions more per year, over a million, over two, million, two million more per year of expense, I don't think that's contemplated in a contract. That's an, you know, an exigent circumstance, an extreme circumstance that I think should be addressed. So, uh, well, I, I want to make it clear that I feel that the responsibility of the rest of the board, the buck stops here. You know, my criticism of the last contract, I think, was misunderstood. Um, I, I feel that it's, it's, it's the board prerogative, uh, and I feel that while well, the contract, uh, and I know the team did a great job, but both sides of the team, but I feel that it's too rich given everything, given the current economic climate, given, given everything else, I think it's too rich, and that's the reason I'm going to vote against it. Again, I've gone over a minute, but, but that's really it. Um, and as I said last time, I thought that this contract and the work we do in the MTA and the administration slash board team, uh, this contract represents the teamwork that moves this district forward. Um, I did not say I think we can reopen at any time. What I said was that I think this board has made it clear to both the taxpayers and the teachers, as well as everybody else, that in the event of true exigent circumstances that create a financial situation for the district, this board was willing to take necessary action to move forward and, and preserve its rights and protect the district. Um, I think that this contract is actually one that protects the taxpayers of the district. I think it 
it's very wisely negotiated, combined with the fact that you know pushing pushing the union as far as you can possibly push them, or possibly pushing them to a job action, does nothing to improve the relations between the teachers union, the teachers, and the school district, and therefore that's actually a higher jeopardy to the value of the housing in the district than just about anything else. Part of what makes housing in Maine Township so valuable is the fact that we have great schools. And part of those great schools is the fact that we have good working relationships with our teachers. This is now one of the three isolated smaller districts. This covers all of Maine Township. I think it's an important thing to look at when we look at the value of all housing in Maine Township and the rights of all the taxpayers. Any other comments? Okay, questions for Paul? Please call the roll. McGrath? Aye. Burke? Yes. Graham? Yes. Heller? Yes. Miller? No. Le uh, Sullivan? Aye. Uh, motion carries 5 to 1 with Mark McGrath voting by phone. Uh, Mr. Lewis was voting in the the last time he not available this morning. And so the motion passes. Next item is the restructuring of staff support employees in the employee category that the Board of Education approve the restructuring of the Coordinator of Fiscal Services and the Administrative Assistant to Superintendent Board of Education Secretary <coughs> positions as presented, which includes a salary adjustment to $68,000 for Karen McGovern, Coordinator of Fiscal Services, and $75,000 for Jenny Edwards, Administrative Assistant to Superintendent Board of Education. Is there a motion? So moved. First, second. Second. Color. Any questions or comments on the motion? Yeah, and that, and that question was asked at Monday's meeting. The answer from the administration was affirmative. They were reviewed, reviewed by outside counsel, and they were both determined to be appropriate for example. So there's both positions that they were doing that. We only had one on, on Monday. Margaret, uh, Margaret, Mary and I met with uh, uh, Shelly Anderson from France. We met with her on Wednesday and went over the, the job requirements for the job description. And so Shelly Anderson helped rewrite the job description that is being approved today. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, Paul Bull. Burke? Yes. Miller? Aye. Peller? Yes. Graham? Yes. McGrath? Sullivan. All right. Motion passes 6-0. Is there any other business to come before the board? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Burke, Peller, questions or comments on the motion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. We're adjourned. Thank you, Margaret.